<laughs> you are quite the little explorer, aren't you? Serves me right for trying to pin you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is at thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. These experiments Don't be a damn fool. We experiment to prepare. We prepare to survive. Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Happy birthday! Can you believe it? She was growing up so fast. Happy birthday, honey. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only your Congratulations, mother... young lady. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well, you're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only ten once, so have fun. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. I just help with the decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your birthday. Go on, guess. Gross! I didn't think you even liked boys. Especially not Freddy the Freak. Yuck. I guess maybe I should give this to someone else. Someone who'd rather curl up with Grognak the Barbarian than Freddy Gomez. The question is, how could you tell the difference? <laughs> oh man, you got a pit boy. I wish I was ten. Nice part. Enjoying Attention, yourself? Everyone. Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Fiddlesticks. What ten-year-old doesn't like presents? I was ten once, believe it or not. My goodness, the vault was practically crowded back then. Not like today. So few young people now. But here I am rambling on again, and you listening so politely. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. No sharing required today. Time to cut the cake. Andy, wait. What is that? One of the 3,000 A models? What a piece of junk. I think you have to wind it up. Having a good time? Know. It wasn't easy keeping this a secret. How do you like that there Pip Boy, miss? Fit all right and everything? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. About the cake now go on. I'm sure everyone else would like a chance to talk to the birthday girl. Of... I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake! Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. Miss 
Mrs. Palmer said I didn't have to share. Who's talking about sharing, moron? I want the whole thing. Now are you gonna give me that sweet roll, or am I gonna have to give you a knuckle sandwich? Oh yeah? We'll see about that. Fischl, you're gonna be I know sorry you're joking, old. but I'm not sure anyone else did. No. Should have just given me the sweet. Butch, what are you doing? Hitting a girl and on her birthday for heaven's sakes. How may I serve you, mistress? Did he hurt you, honey? Thanks for coming, Stanley. Come on, Wally. You always have good ideas. Her puny... Everything's fine. Yeah, happy I hope... birthday. I got one. Jonas? The oh, Mackers. Sure, nothing to worry about. Super Me and Andy cool, got right? all fixed Jeez, up again last night. Jeez, Wally. Who's the head of the I'll gang? Send her right there. Me. No way. You can fix anything, happy right? Birthday. Birthday. What do you think anyway, we should call our gang? I'm glad you got me totally... Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Killer, though. Hey, how about those vault dwellers? Get it? He has to go around all day being called Palmer. a vault dweller. I help with the decoration. You really Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness, I hope I didn't miss the party. They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. And now look... A great big grown-up ten-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this was such a special occasion... Do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem. Just for you. I hope you like it. Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. They are as dumb as you look. Oh, really? They're lovely. You did such a splendid job. Are you having a nice time? I hope you appreciate the effort Amara put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. Hmm, that's not what I hear. But perhaps she'll set a good example for you. There's still plenty of time for you to make something of yourself. Enjoy the party, sir? Bah! I only showed up because Amata's friends with the brat. Give them a few more minutes, and then I want that place cleaned up and everybody back to work. Sure thing, sir. Happy birthday! What are you doing down here, young lady? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. Hey, relax. I was just teasing. Listen, now that you're ten, you don't have to take guff like that from grown-ups anymore. Got it? <laughs> Hold on one more minute. I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Are you ready for your surprise? The Overseer gave you your Pip-Boy, and you're old enough to do some work, so... I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. 
Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? We sure can't, unless we want the overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. Well, what do you think? You're here now, and it's a hell of a lot better than being up there. All your mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe, and you're safe here. Your mother, she... she was beautiful, but beyond the beauty you've seen. There's just so much those old photos can never show. And she was passionate. About life. About love. But most of all, most of all she was passionate about you. When she became pregnant it was the happiest I had ever seen her. Ah, she had great things in mind for you. And so, time for you to stop stalling and get to class. Please honey, please, take these achievement tests seriously. The last thing I need is your mother's ghost haunting me because her only child became a, a garbage burner. Take care, sweetie. Now get out of here, and good luck. Good morning. Stopped in to see the old man before class, eh? Morning, Jonas. Morning, Doc. How's things? Have you had a chance to look over these results? I was just going over them. I'm Tell a little worry. worried. <laughs> I hope Jonas can take a look at me soon. No problem. I'll have my report ready this afternoon. Sounds good. Let me know if there are any changes. Hi, Stanley. Sorry to keep you waiting. What seems I to be the trouble today? I've got this headache that just God, won't go away. Even with the pills you gave me last week? It's the lights, I think. They hurt my eyes. That's still bothering you. Hmm. Well, I can run a few more tests if you like. Yes, I think I'd like that. Will it take long? Oh, shouldn't be too long. I just need to get things set up for you. Just sit tight, and I'll be She's with you as soon as I can. Morning, pal. What's the Daddy's Let's go into the store. I'll show you. Tell her, Butch. I can show you a real tunnel suit. Daddy's girl, Daddy's girl. She thinks she's better than this. You think you're special because your daddy is the overseer? She's nothing, Butch! Let's go into the storeroom of the oh. I'll show you. Stupid tunnel snakes! Immature assholes, if you ask me! Why won't they leave me alone? It's not my fault my father's the overseer. I don't care about their stupid gang. Can you talk to them? Maybe Butch will listen to you. Please? Thanks. You've always been a good friend. Try talking to Butch. They'll all do whatever he says. A good time. Yeah? What do you want? None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me?
like I'm gonna listen to a little shrimp like you. Get lost, Poindexter. And who are you? Her girlfriend? Ha! Should've known. Keep talking like that girl, and we'll send you back to your daddy with a few broken bones for him to fix. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, tunnel snakes. This twerp needs another lesson. But stop it. Leave her Watch alone. Out. Thought I heard something. <laughs> Where? Stop Hit it. Hit her again. Here's on the fritz again. You're kidding. Me. <gasps> Didn't you just get stop new parts it. for it last week? Yeah, sure. Tunnel did. snakes rule. Please, Losers stop drool. fighting. Grandpa in trouble with Come on, tunnel time. snakes. Watch this where you're swinging. This little bitch isn't worth our time. Okay, okay, you win. We'll leave the little girl alone. You're not worth our time anyway. Come on, tunnel snakes. We're out of here. Working again Whatever you say, Butch. Butch. You're the boss. Thanks. Tunnel Thanks. snakes rule. You want to grab some lunch Fine. later on? Let's go. Sure thing. How about we head down to the diner after class? Thanks for getting rid of them. <sighs> Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father is the overseer, I guess? Great. Good luck on the goat. You too. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. Listen, I like your dad. I might even like you if I wasn't your teacher. So here's what I'm going to do. If you want to skip the test, just tell me how you want it to come out, and I'll take care of it for you. Well, all right. Here, take a look. Come on, people, find your seats. I've got other things to do. Back off. Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brach. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Remember, Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Question four. Congratulations. 
You've made we'll one talk to your little friend baseball teams. later. <laughs> Which position do you prefer? We'll talk to Question your little five. friend your later. Look, Square, I already told you. We got nothing You're to say to each other. She gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. Do you mind? Do you do? I'm trying to pay attention. Question six. Shh. I'm trying Old to concentrate. Mr. Abernathy has locked himself hey, in quarters again. Hey, why don't you have to take You've the test? To get him out. You How again? What did I tell you about talking to me, huh? I don't want to catch a Question case of the seven. nerd from you. Oh, no. You've been exposed to radiation. And a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Question eight. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a... You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. Come on, Freddy, finish up already. You did fine. You should celebrate with your friends. Yes? Your boy is not a toy. Get out of my face. Hello. Surely you have someplace Here better are, to be Mr. than hanging around I hope my I did classroom. Okay. Nothing for you to worry about, Miss Almodovar. Let's see. Very well done. Looks like it's the supervisory track for you. Thanks. See you tomorrow. I've got other things to do. You did fine. You should celebrate with your friends. Yo, teach! I'm done! Ah, Butch. Can I admit that I've been waiting for this day for a long, long time? Allow me to savor the moment. Now then, let's see. Hmm. Really? Interesting. You surprised me, Butch. I didn't think you had it in you. Hairdresser! Who would have thunk it? You're so full of it. That isn't true. You did fine. You should celebrate with your friends. I'm all done, Mr. Brotch. I guess. Uh, wait a second. Can I have it back? I think I need to change one of my answers. Just calm down a minute, Paul. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, just as I thought. You're slated for the engineering track. Congratulations, Mr. Hannon. You've passed the GOAT. Oh, gee. That's not so bad. Engineering, all right. You did fine. You should celebrate with your friends. Mother can't wait to find out if I'll be going into science or home economics. Science? Uh, well, perhaps. Let's see what the GOAT says. Well, well. Maintenance department. I hope your mother will be pleased. I'm sure Stanley will be. What? That's impossible. I'm t Hey there. Bye. You did fine. You should celebrate with your friends. You did fine. You should celebrate with your friends. Leave me alone, you little spaz. I'm thinking of going with Overseer for the last one. What did you put? Snake life forever. I'll see you tomorrow, right now. Anything is possible, even an A. That is the problem. He's here to save you now. Is he? So what are you going to do now? Selfish and insubordinate. Look, just wake up. Need to know Come on, wake thoughts. up. I'm not going to be around to hold your hand forever. Come on. You've got to wake up. You've got to get out of here. Your dad is gone, and my father's men are looking for you. 
He's left the vault. I don't know how, but he's gone. And my father, he's kind of gone crazy. God damn it! Stop making jokes and listen to me! Jonas is dead! Do you understand what I'm saying to you? My father ordered the guards to do it! And now they're coming here to do the same thing to you! This is not a joke! You need to get out of here! Not anymore, apparently. But are you honestly telling me you had no idea your dad was leaving? He really didn't tell you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure he had his reasons. Maybe Jonas was supposed to explain everything to you? But it doesn't matter. I can help you escape. I have my own plan. Listen, there's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you'd better take it just in case. Okay, I'll try to meet you at the exit. Watch out for security. Good luck! I'll meet you at the... Vault door if I can, but don't wait for me. There she is. Hold it right there. Crime any more roaches. There's more where that came from. My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches! No, I can't go back in there. It's... it's dark. And there's rat roaches. Oh my god! Thank you! I didn't know what to do! You are the best! I've ever had, man. Hey, I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my Tunnel Snake's jacket. Go ahead, take it. You're the best, man. The best. Everything's gonna be okay now. Thanks God, to you. I could really use a drink right now.
dealt with. Hold on, Jonas. I need to record this first. I... I don't really know how to tell you this. I hope you'll understand, but I know you might be angry. I thought about it for a long time, but in the end, I decided it was best for you not to know. So many things could have gone wrong, and there's really no telling how the Overseer will react when he finds out. It's best if he can blame everything on me. Obviously, you already know that I'm gone. It was something I needed to do. You're an adult now. You're ready to be on your own. Maybe someday things will change and we can see each other again. I can't tell you why I left or where I'm going. I don't want you to follow me. God knows life in the vault isn't perfect, but at least you'll be safe. Just knowing that will be enough to keep me going. Don't mean to rush you, Doc, but I'd feel better if we got this over with. Okay. Go ahead. Goodbye. I love you.
I would make it. My, my, my father, he, I, my officer Mac, I, I didn't tell them anything, I swear. When the warning sirens came on, they all ran out. I, I guess that was you? I, I see you got the door open. That's good. You're right. Compared to Jonas, I'm just peachy. A few bruises, nothing more. What do I have to complain about? You seem to have come through in fine shape as well. Go on then. The door's open, time for you to leave. And I'll stay here and clean up the mess you and your dad made. Don't worry, I'm sure I can patch things up with my father. That's what we do down here, isn't it? Smile and pretend everything is just fine. I knew you'd turn up sooner or later. Had enough? to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. What do you want to know? Sure, 
Head over to Moriarty's for spirits, or if you want something to eat, head over to the Brass Lantern. The town's named after the bomb that's sitting in the middle of it. It hasn't gone off yet. Maybe. Maybe. So long as you stay away from the bomb, I see my chances of a long life improving. I hope we understand each other. ...has been reduced to what is now known as the Capital Wasteland. The Capital Wasteland. How did it come to this, America? How did your leaders allow the most powerful nation on Earth... Oh, all right. Die? Fine. The answer but is listen here. Quite Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, the there'll be 100 caps in it for you. We put our trust... Our faith in half-wits. Our intrepid leaders had everything they wanted. Power, wealth, prestige. And it made them lazy, America. Oh, yes, and laziness breeds... Well, that's mighty decent of you. Just don't, you know, go blowing us up, all right? Well, come to think of it, I do remember a stranger coming through here. Had a look in his eye. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. You have my solemn pledge that I will never rest. Never rest. It's called the Wasteland for a reason. But there are settlements, too, spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. To the south, you've got Rivet City. But don't bother going to D.C. The place is a war zone. Don't blow us up now. A little faith. Until we meet again, this is President Eden signing off. I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? Have a look. Most of it's edible. Some of it even tastes good. I don't really ever leave a lantern. Too much work. Too few hours in the day, you know? Come back if you need something. And children of the earth, come for- Ah, oh, look. Another one of you wasteland assholes. Look here, asshole. I don't like you. Stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble. There ain't much to tell used to live out in the wastes. I was a real bastard back then, but I put all that behind me. What? Back out where? I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. I'm not that guy anymore. Yeah, you're right. Stupid idea anyway. None of your fucking 
business. Damn right, never mind. Me? I don't do a damn thing. Well, unless you count staying pissed drunk and making Moriarty rich or something. Sure, I'm the best shot in town with the rifle, so everyone comes running to old Jericho when the Raiders show up. But between raids, they're content to take my money and drag me home when I've had too much. <laughs> Drinking money might loosen my lips a bit. Give it a try. See what happens. Don't you know how a bribe works? You give me money, and I give you information. In order to do that, you have to have money. Christ, kids. Come back if you need something. Forth to gather and behold the power of Adam. Let those who dwell here in his favored land attend now to the words of the prophet of Adam. Hey, Jericho. I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Great! Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or, or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. A runaway dad, huh? I've seen plenty of them before, but none with the big 101 on their back. Good luck finding him. Maybe the armored vault suit will help you out there, huh? That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Let's see. Dealing with radiation, testing an experimental device, and, I won't lie, it may include some reading. That sort of stuff, you know? But for all that, I can pay you with caps, meds, chems, and maybe even a few of those unique inventions, if you do a good job. Interested? Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old super-duper mart not far from here. 
I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Oh, I couldn't do that. It'd be a real blow to those nice folks in the church. Besides, it's not like that bomb ever hurt anyone. Live and let live, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Good hunting! Try not to die! yourself a nice visit, partner.
moving around. Screw this! Will you just...
God damn it! 